Hey there, it's uh, Glenn here of Trailer Wilderness. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be building a, hopefully you can hear me okay, I'll try to talk a little louder. Um, my forge is going and it uh, makes that loud hissing sound. Take my earplugs out too. Um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be building a um, fireplace set has the poker, the shovel, and the broom. I have an old broom off of uh, an old set that I had. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be taking that here, this is just the old one, and I'm gonna be rounding off the edge of my steel. This is 3 8 inch steel. Um, I'm going to be rounding that down, tapping it, and we'll uh, screw we'll screw the end in there then. But what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make some uh, cuts back here about, oh, three inches long, something like that, three and a half inches long. We'll make cuts down the center of these on both on two sides so it'll go straight through and then that'll get um, the end will get drawn out a little bit heated and drawn out and then forge welded and then we'll take and we'll actually compress that heat it and compress it and twist it and make a real nice design and we'll twist the middle here um, so I guess I'll go over a little bit of the materials that I have for this. Uh, this is going to be our shovel part. Uh, what this is is a piece of uh, 6 inch by 8 inch steel, flat steel. Um, I don't know if you can see those alright, but there's I have lines drawn on, on there. And what that is, this is, uh, hopefully you can see, um, this is 6 inches by 6 inches. What I'm going to do is come in here an inch on either side and that will get bent up after what we'll have to do is we'll take and we'll cut this little edge, this corner off, come in and come up, we'll cut these two corners off, then it will get bent up and this side will get bent up and this side will get bent up too. So they will meet right here in the corner. Then uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to take my, I'm not going to forge weld it or nothing. I'm just going to take my MIG welder and weld the corners and then we'll round the front. Uh, that'll give us a 5 inch by 4 inch shovel uh, that we can use real nice for in our fireplace. Um, then like I said we've got the broom and a 3 8 inch piece of metal. Uh, like I said, we'll round that down, that tap it, and put the broom on there. This other one here will be um, for our uh, shovel. Take and pound this end down, and we'll actually make like a almost like a Z shape on the end. And we'll do on the same end there. We'll take and uh, do the same thing. Make our cuts and press it and twist it and all that. I'll show you as we're going. Um, this one is my poker. This one's a little bit longer. We'll do the same thing on this end, but we're going to make a draw this out and make a real nice hook on the end for digging around in the fire. We have a piece of, that's 3 Um You wouldn't have to go with 3 16th. You'd go with 8th inch easy. Um, even 16th would hold. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to design a, an edge on here and then we're going to bend this after we forge the ends out. Um, we'll take and bend this up so it come in, come up and back over again. And then there'll be holes drilled in, in the stock and then we're going to take and uh, run quarter inch we'll make hooks that come out here and they'll be made out of quarter inch square stock rounded put through and peened over 
So um, that's kind of what stock we're going to be working with. And uh, I guess with that being said, we're going to take and throw some steel in the forge, start heating it up, and then um, start doing some hammering and all kinds of good stuff. So when I get stuff kind of cut the way I want it and that, and I start working on it, I'll come back and be right back with you. Okay, guys. So... I got everything pretty much cut out how I want it. Um, this is what we end up with for the shovel. Um, like I said, we'll, along these lines, we'll take and bend these up, heat it up, and bend these up straight up, and then um, I'll forge or er, I'll mig weld these corners in here. Um, what we did here this flat piece of steel uh, the inch and a half by eighth it might even be three th three sixteenth um, anyway uh, all I did is I took and made a rough thing here on both ends um, I didn't you know I didn't make it real nice because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually heat this up and hammer this down with my spring swage and then um, we'll take and make it look real nice and look like it's hammered along the edges and stuff. Um, I did actually, you can see there, I took that down on my sander, I rounded it off, and drilled and tapped that. Or, yeah, drilled and tapped. <laughs> Sorry, I tapped it, tapped the end, so to accept that, um, that brush. And then what I did here, if you can see, I took and I made marks and drew lines um, in the center. Now this one's off a little bit, but um, so is that. But, uh, and then I took and cut down the center with, sorry about this mess. One day I will have a nice organized shop. But anyways, um, I made this table. Um, to go in my bandsaw and uh, that's what I did I can kind of show you here sorry about the shaking um, I cut right in you know right down through like that and uh, that's how I cut these ends now what will happen like I said what will happen here is this end will get forge welded together and drawn out into a hook so they can hang and then this will get heated twisted and then pushed down as I'm as I'm twisting I'm actually push gonna be pushing down and I'll show you show you doing show me doing that um, so yeah that's where we're at right now um, when I start drawing some of this stuff out and doing like this, the heat and the twist, and then pounding this out. That I'll uh, I'll come right back and show you. So, all right, see you in a little bit.